Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video series on uh, EFT automation. In this video, we will look at uh, the regular expression and we'll look more into the pattern. And this is a continuation video, so I'll directly jump into the pattern. So here, uh, it's the same script that you all saw in the other video. I mean to say, you know, the first couple of videos. So here, I'm going to, you know, use this file, look into this file and, uh, you know, count the number of occurrences of 5 and 2. Let me go ahead and run the script. And uh, let's see the number. Okay, it has six occurrences. And let's say uh, here I want to make a quick change. I want to find, you know, all the numbers again, you know, that start with 5 and 2 and, uh, you know, end with 88. Here, the way you understand this is, you know, you know, asterisk re represents you know, pretty much, you know, end of, uh, you know, the whole string, and then your know, dot represents the character, and this go in combination. I mean, they they go together. I mean, if you do this, then there would be an error. Not really error, but you know it says that you have zero occurrences. So uh, we need to put a dot there, and that would um, you know match all the occurrences that start with five and two and end with eighty-eight. So let me go ahead and run that script, and uh, I mean with that setting, and see what would be the output. <coughs> Well, so we have three here. So let me go ahead and open the file. So it matched these three. And if you look at these numbers, and so all the, in the last four numbers are same, the first three numbers are same, but here you have in the middle three numbers are different. But let's say I want to only find the numbers that uh, you know start with you know in the middle. You are, you know the first digit can be anywhere between one through five. And you know, these numbers can be anything, but you want to make sure that the first digit there in the middle, you know, it's anywhere between one through five. And let's see what kind of changes we need to make uh, to the pattern to, you know, uh, to get to those two numbers. So what you would do is, you know, you would start this way. So uh, let me delete that guy there. And you know, it's uh, okay. So, and we wanted uh, after the dash, this could range anywhere between uh, 1 through 5. So, what we could do is start and close a bracket and say 1 through 5. That again, that represents only one position, meaning that position. So, but these two could be anything. And I mean, from here, it could be anything. And the last two should be 88. So we can continue with that. Put a dot there and asterisk. So now this, you would interpret this as any number that is starting with 5 and 2 and a dash. And then the next character could be anywhere between 1 through 5 and then till the end. But the, you know, it's ending with 88. So if we do this, then we should, you know, it should display only 2. So we got two there, because what, because that expression, what it does is, it will, you know, get to these three numbers. I mean, it's not really getting to those three numbers, but I'm just trying to explain it that way. So it's down to these three with five and two and eighty-eight, and with dot asterisk. And now, but after the dash, you have the square brackets open and close, and you have one dash five. So what that means is this position could have a value of 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. If it is anything, you know, either if it is 0 or greater than 5, so it could be 6, 7, 8, 
uh, nine, then you know it would you know, pretty much not match. Meaning you have one here with six, and you know it it, will, it could not. Uh, you know, or it, it this. What I'm trying to say is, you know, this this number got excluded. So that's how you you know use. I mean, you can also use this for um, say alphabets as well. If you're looking for a specific strings in you know, alpha strings, you could say you know uh, it could be anywhere between A to Z, or you know not just with numbers. You can also do with the alphabets. You know, again A to Z. You can tell it could be from A to Z, or it could be from a specific location or a specific spot. Say for example, you know A B C D E from E to let's say Z. You want to do? You can do that. E dash C. Again, they have to be within the bracket. So that um, you know, that's pretty much you know. I just wanted to you know, kind of demonstrate the use of square brackets. Uh, you know, in addition to you know the dot and uh, you know the asterisk. Well, uh, we'll look at uh, more patterns in the next video. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video.